Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maya Miller and I'm back with another video. So today I am back with another makeup look. And basically guys, I'm achieving this cute blue makeup look for you guys. If you would like to see how I achieve this look, please stay so, tuned. First, I want to start my eyes. I did my eyebrows off camera like I normally do. I'm going with the James Charles Morphe palette that he did and we're gonna go on with this blue, this dark blue um, like in my crease. And we're gonna just do that to start off this. So I'm gonna go on with the Morphe, what is this palette? This is the 35i palette. And I'm gonna go on with this lighter blue. And I'm kinda gonna put that right like in between. Just kinda add it there. And also like put it on my lid. And basically this process is just essentially prepping the eye before you put on the actual so when I do my cut crease and stuff, it's gonna cover a majority of this. So it doesn't have to be super perfect just because it's already gonna get pretty much get covered with the cut crease. And then from there, that's when the color really matters. But this kind of helps set you, is getting you set up for the cut crease. We're gonna go on with the Morphe 24A Artist Palette. This is the collab they did with Sweetie. We're gonna take that darker blue and just kind of put it right here in this corner part. And then I'm gonna kind of like bring it in the crease to kind of add to that. But I don't want it to be super overpowering. But I think that darker color like definitely helps with this. So I'm gonna go with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color, this is like a white color. Um, and I'm gonna go with this brush and then this other brush as well to help me basically cut my crease pretty good. Cutting your crease is very, it's not that complicated. Some people can do it without having this thinner brush, but I want mine to look so precise that I just, I just use the thinner brush because it just makes it just makes things go faster. It makes it look more put together. So, like I said, you don't have to use it, but I use it because it just makes, it just helps with making things look more precise. One day I want to eventually be able to do it without needing it, without needing this tool. But for right now, You cut the crease and you have it basically shaped out you just go back in with that brush you originally used and you just fill it in fill in where you want it to be where you think you're gonna add the and like this one piece is messed up I'm trying to fix it you have to probably brush it out with a brush but it's like this little piece I don't like it like that So we'll see. So I'm gonna go in with a glittery bluish color. 
um, which is going to be this Insta Baddie, this shimmery bluish color. And then we're going to go in and put that all on top of that cut crease. I just basically sprayed some like just setting spray type so it can like pick up the product because I know this palette, this sh or just shimmers in general, they're a little harder to pick up so So, I packed it on, I don't want it to look too crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my brush that I started with. And I'm just gonna just blend this where the crease meets, just so I can make it look, so no harsh lines pretty much. You just don't want any harsh lines on here. You want it to look pretty. Blend it up. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. primer. This is the poreless one. I wanna put this first on my face to kind of blur, blur any type of, blur my pores so it can give my face a, like a more natural look. I'm gonna go in with the, this is the Tarte. This is the mattifying poreless primer. So I'm gonna use this after, cause this is pretty good. So I'm going to go on with this other e.l.f. primer, but this is the Strictly Matte one. I'm just going to go in and put this just so my face can stay matte. Especially if it's getting hotter out. So we're going to put these lashes on because they're pretty much... The glue takes... It doesn't take that long for it to dry. You don't want them to dry like too much. The thing with lashes is that thing about lashes is you want them to be like a tacky because if you put them on too soon much like this one is, was this one wasn't ready all the way if you put them on too soon it's hard to like apply them because they don't stick down So next we're gonna go on with this uh this is Koi 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 some brand and it's a purple concealer. Um because I do have some dark marks, so I like to put this on and it helps uh with that like eliminating those dark marks. Well help not show not having them pull up like show up under your foundation. So I'm just going in those spots where there's some dark marks. Then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and just blend this out. But you don't want to do it too much because you still want it to like, you just kind of want it to get on here. I'm going to go in with a concealer, so the thick one, and you want to do the same thing, go back over those same spots. And I learned this off of some girl on TikTok. And you're going to you will use a thicker concealer, but this is what I'm going to work with right now. And basically, you just let this sit for three minutes without touching it. And it's going to help, I guess, conceal and whatnot. Let that sit for three minutes. I'm just going to go in with this beauty blender and just blend that out. And I think the purpose of it sitting is somehow, I didn't get that one there. It somehow makes the concealer, like, thicker? I don't, I don't know. But see how much this covered up, and I don't even have foundation. Like it covered up pretty much. 
the dark mark. So we're gonna go on with the NARS e.l.f. Uh, foundation in the color. What color this is it's like the darkest color second to last and then 40 480 c in the anastasia basically we're just mixing the two so we're gonna just put like one two three and basically the elf kind of helps with this color because this color is some i don't know it seems a little bit orangey so this helps with making that color not look so orangey We're gonna go on with my e.l.f. concealer in the color Deep and we're gonna highlight under my eyes and we're gonna do that on the bridge of my nose and right there. So we're gonna go on with this e.l.f. foundation palette in the color Deep. We're pretty much gonna go on with this deep shade and contour my face. We're gonna go in with the Morphe, uh, this is like pressed powder in the color Filter 14. And we're gonna just contour basically where I just put everything. This is a this is a set that contour. And then I also I'm gonna go under here and do that. Going with my Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent. Just set everything. Okay, so now all of that sets, I'm gonna go with my lip combo. And if you guys know me, I pretty much do the same lip combo unless I'm wearing this specific stuff. So I'm gonna go in with this NYX. This is a lipstick, but I'm using it as a liner. And then I'm going in with the Morphe lip gloss in the color Freebird. So, so you go in with that. And then you go in with this color, which this is like a good color. I like had lost this and then I refound it. I was like, oh my god. And you just put that in the middle. Okay, so that's how that looks. So I'm gonna let that pretty much play. Sit basically. Um, it doesn't have to sit too long because I ain't going nowhere. So, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go in with uh this Morphe. This is like a contour palette, but I, like a bronze. But I use it just to as like a a light um like setting, like all over powder. So I'm gonna go in with that and just kind of dust off all that powder. Like I said, normally. If I was going out and I know I need my makeup to sit longer, I usually let this sit to the latest I can before I have to leave because just because the longer you put it on, the longer your makeup will look. Not so get oily fast. I'm gonna go on with this e.l.f. Um, highlight. This is in the color. I don't know. This is the goldish color. It's not the color here, I don't think. And we're just going with just like a brush. Like, 
just like a small brush, just uh, with highlighting. I want to just I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. What I'm gonna do is just finish brushing my hair, kind of getting that fixed, and then we'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, as you can see, this is how it came out. I like the light eyeliner, it's so f came out cute. And like I said, this was like a cute, um, this was like a cute, like, blue look that came out really, really cute. Um, it's really simple, cute. You guys, anyone could do this look. It's it's just so cute. Love it. I love it. And the white eyeliner came out perfect. And like I said, normally, I don't do white eyeliner alone, but it came out pretty good. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And bye, guys.